Hey everybody, I'm Paul Mitchell Paul, your local realtor and guide to living in South Florida, and welcome back to my channel. I'm a local realtor with Keller Williams Innovations, and whether you're looking to move to Florida for a permanent house, a winter house, or retirement, whatever it is, I've got you covered, and I know the neighborhoods to show you here in South Florida. Now, a lot of my viewers have been asking me if I would make a video about 55 and older communities here in Boynton Beach. Most recently, I did make one about Delray Beach, so I saw your request and I listened. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you three communities, actually four, but I'm gonna be showing you three communities first of 55 and older communities at varying prices. So maybe from a lower end to the higher end, some with basic amenities, some with full theater and a cafe and gated and all that. But if you stick with me to the very end, I'll show you a fourth one. I'll show you the least expensive 55 and older condo that's on the water in Boynton Beach. But you gotta stay with me till the end. All right, so let's get started. All right, so for our first community, I'm gonna be showing you Leisureville Palm Beach. This is their clubhouse right here behind me. It's one of three facilities that they actually have here. They also have a really good par three golf course. And we're just west of I-95 near Congress and Woolbright here in Boynton Beach, Florida. So Leisureville is a great community if you're looking for 55 and older. Um, along with those three recreational centers that I mentioned earlier, they have uh, a heated and cooled swimming pool at each one of those three locations, as well as billiards, shuffleboard, um, card room, they have a fitness center with a spa and a wood shop. They also have a stage with a sound system, so they have like holiday events and you know plays and stuff that uh, you can go and enjoy. So it's a really nice community, and it has been here for probably since I think somewhere in the 60s. So Leisureville has a mixture of condos, villas, and single-family homes, and some of them are on the golf course, some of them are on canals with like water, and then you got some like I'm walking by right now that you know just have a little backyard and you'll notice that all the homes are all white so every house in the neighborhood is white the only thing that you can do to decorate your house a little bit differently would be your front door and the wood shutters on the window so you can add a little color there and you can put a, a little bit of decorations you'll see as i walk by some of these homes there's some you know, decorations up front but that's pretty much it but the place has a very nice, clean, aesthetic look to it. And one of the, the really popular things to have on one of the homes, like the one I'm walking by right now, is a front patio. It's sort of a social thing. When you have the front patio, it's a great place for people to come out and hang out. You can kind of sit there, talk to your neighbors, socialize. And some of them are really nice looking. So, you know, as with any community that's been around for quite a few years, you're seeing some of them that are being remodeled. Um, you know, a lot of them have been updated. Some of them are still original condition. And I'm walking by one right now that looks a little bit older. But uh, for the most part, a lot of them have done some type of upgrades to them over the years. Now, prices for the homes here start at around 89,500 for probably a condo and go as high as 410,000. Now, those are the numbers that I just looked at with the MLS as of yesterday. So, you know, those can obviously vary, but from the low end, you're probably talking about one of the one bedroom condos, which I don't believe have a washer and dryer in them. You have to use a facility all the way up to a single family home. And some of them uh, go as high as like a, a three bedroom, two bath community. I think it's called the Challenger model, which is probably the most popular. It's also one of the largest models. And then the HOA fees range between anywhere from 149 to $438 a month, again, depending on where you live. Now, if you stick around and watch to the very end, I actually will provide a link to a video I did just about Leisureville, and I go in a little more into depth. It was a couple years ago, but I get on my bike and I ride around the community and show you what it's like, and I also show you the inside of one of the units. Again, it's a couple years ago, so, you know, whatever that unit was selling for at that time, uh, you can probably add $100,000 to it. But as I said, they have a nice golf course here, and a lot of activities and you're really close to the uh, beach so as I said we're in Boynton Beach and we're not too far from I-95 there's a Home Depot and a Lowe's right down the road and uh, a Publix grocery store not too far away and then as far as the beach it's 
you know, five, ten minute drive, probably ten minute drive with traffic, get over the bridge, and you can be over at either Gulfstream Beach or you can go to Boynton Beach. So you're not far from anything. You're, you're uh, close to I-95 for quick access to the airport and other parts of South Florida. So anyway, Leisureville is a really nice community. Um, I like it. I've actually sold a couple homes in here and uh, it's a good place. All right, so the next place I'm going to take you to is a gated community. It's a little more um, updated, a little newer. It's also a little bit more expensive. It has a really nice clubhouse has a great swimming pool, real active lifestyle, and it's called Cascade Lakes. And I actually helped my uh, client Penny buy a house in there a couple years ago. So that's where we're heading next. second community we are at Cascade Lakes which is located just a little bit west of where we were earlier at Leisureville out off Military Road and just south of Woolbright Road and this is a really nice 55 plus community as you can see it's got a beautiful gated entrance and uh, they always check who's coming to visit fortunately my client Penny who lives here uh, she said go ahead and they let me in but uh, so it's really nice um, and you can see the homes all have the barrel tile roofs and a nice sidewalk. So it's a great community. And the homes here are priced starting around, let me see, from 360,000 all the way up to 650,000. So, and uh, again, that's, you know, the current market prices that I found in the MLS as of yesterday. So the HOA for this community is only $541 a month, but man, you get so much for that. I mean, this is a great community gated entrance with you know manned entrance um, fantastic clubhouse I mean this clubhouse is just well we're gonna go look at it in a little bit but they have this great swimming pool with all these activities and uh, you know fitness center and water aerobics and just all sorts of stuff and, and let me tell you it may be 55 and older but when we were here looking at properties with my client Penny they were having a party in that pool and I was a little jealous. I was like, man, I want to live here. So this is a great community. As I said, it's really nice, lush trees and landscaping. They do a great job of taking care of it. So um, let's head over to the clubhouse and uh, take a look. Hopefully we can get in. swimming pool because there's so many people there it was actually supposed to rain today but it turned out to be a pretty nice day and of course the pool's crowded and there's some grandchildren there so you never want to go filming when there's a lot of people around it just looks creepy but trust me it's a really cool pool and if you look at the little section in the video right here you see that area that's where the swimming pool kind of goes indoor and they have an indoor water volleyball and they can do indoor aerobics and the water aerobics just really cool like I said great community really active now over here you can see that uh, they got some tennis ball courts let me turn turn around and got some tennis ball back here and I believe they have pickleball um, and there's some other community activities that you can do inside the main clubhouse back there like cards and stuff like that but um, yeah it's really nice I think this is actually the pickleball and the tennis courts are on the other side I don't know I've never played the game but I think it's pickleball so but all in all, that's, like I said, great community. Um, if you're looking for a 55 and older place, you know, like, like I said, they got their own sports center over here. So this place is active. And uh, yeah, these are the tennis courts, really nice. But anyway, um, it's a good place to check out, a good option. If you wanna talk to me about it, I'd be happy. I made my client happy when she found this place. And I'm sure we could find something for you too. So this is the main entrance to the clubhouse facility now I can't go in because I'm not a resident and you know there unless you live here they don't want any guests going in right now but uh, you know nice facility um, pull up get dropped off if you want or plenty of parking and 
you know, fitness center. And as you can see, it goes all the way back this way. It's a really, really nice community and they have a great clubhouse. So, all right, so that's Cascade Lakes. If you're interested in this, please reach out to me. We got one more to go to. It is a little further out west and it will be our last community. It's also a gated community and uh, we're heading there now. And here we are at our third 55 and older active adult community. I may have saved the best for last. This is Valencia Point out in West Boynton Beach. Now this is a really fantastic community with a wonderful clubhouse. Matter of fact, we're standing in front of Club Valencia Point right now. And they've given me permission to come in and film a little bit. So that's going to be pretty exciting. But this place has everything. There's a golf course, a swimming pool, fitness center, card rooms, um, you know, clubs you can join. This one has a cafe which is always highly coveted at a lot of the 55 and older communities um, as you saw coming in of course it's got that beautiful entranceway and it's gated this is a really really nice community now this is the most expensive community on our list today home prices here range anywhere between 450,000 on the low side upwards up to 790,000 on the high side and the HOAs run anywhere between $400 a month to $600 a month depending on where you live and there is a capital contribution. I'm not sure what exactly that is. I'll have to look into it, but typically it's like three times the monthly HOA fee, um, or sometimes they'll just have a flat fee, but whatever it is, I can find that information out for you. But we're gonna go and take a look at the clubhouse, so let's go. place in the shade you can sit down and eat you got this beautiful resort style swimming pool and then all of this back behind you with some of these homes right on the water and the water fountain back there so just a beautiful community so this is what you can get you know from like I said lows in the 450s highs almost 800,000 um, this is a great great community out here in Boynton Beach all right so there is a home that is under contract but the agent said I could go over there and take a look at it and so in case the contract falls through maybe if you're interested in it but it is a single-family home that's under contract so we're gonna go over there and take a look and see what you can buy here and this one's roughly in the $700,000 price range so let's head over there and take a look so you've seen three communities that are all pretty spectacular and don't forget you gotta stay till the end to see the fourth special one but which so far is your favorite? Leave a comment down below. Where would you rather live? The more laid back Leisureville, uh, the fun, active Cascade Lakes, or the very upscale Valencia Point? Let me know.
So I had to use my GoPro inside there. I didn't want to come walking in with this big camera just in case some other people walked in, other agents just, <laughs> they're like, what is that big thing? So, but what a nice unit, right? So this property is under contract. It's priced right around $789,000. Um, and it's, it's a nice big house, big high ceilings and uh, you know, backyard area. So that's uh, kind of what you can expect out here at Valencia Point. Um, this is just one house that's on the market. Like I said, the prices range somewhere from as low as the 450s all the way up to pretty much almost 800,000. But it's a nice community. I mean, this street couldn't be any quieter if, if, you, if I wanted it to be. There's usually someone mowing a lawn or helicopters over my head or something, but it's just nice and quiet. So anyway, great community, great clubhouse. Um, you know, I'm sure you got some full-time residents here. You've got a lot of people that are probably snowbirds or I heard people over talking at the swimming pool about leaving in March. So um, that's kind of what you're going to find when you come down to these communities. So whether you're looking for a full-time house or a winter house, any of these communities would be good. But as promised, I said I would show you the least expensive condo that's on the water in a 55 and adult community in Boynton Beach. And that's where we're going next. So let's go. up to that sound every morning it would be so peaceful all right thanks for staying with me to the very end as promised here is your waterfront condo that is the intracoastal waterway right back over there you can see there's a bridge you probably can't see it but that's the Boynton inlet and uh this is your back patio screened in back patio on your one bedroom 577 square foot condo at seacrest view condominiums in Boynton beach this is the least expensive 55 and older condo that was waterfront that I could find and it's priced at $239,000. Not a bad view. You could sit out here in the morning and see the sunrise and just listen to the water as it laps up against the uh, seawall. That is the most relaxing sound in the world. I could sit out here all day and just read a book and totally relax. So at 577 square feet, you're not talking about a really big condo. I mean, it's a one bedroom, one bath, but it is on the second floor. It has a screened in patio overlooking the water. And of course your front area, as you walk up to your front door, the railing right up here, you got water views of the Intracoastal waterway. So, you know, for $239,000, that's a nice little winter place to come down. And you know, if you're staying here for a week or maybe a month or two, and you're down here, it would make a great place and you can't beat the views. Now, you do have um, no laundry facility in this unit, right? So you have to use a laundry facility out in the hallway. But again, you're only here for a while. You're not gonna need that much. Uh, you're down here on vacation, right? All you need some cool shirts and some comfy shorts. But anyway, well listen, if you wanna watch other videos about 55 and older communities, be sure to click the link here at the end of this video. And as always, when you're in the Palm Beaches, get out and enjoy paradise. I'll talk to you next week.